Hello guys, also guys, Face76 here today, and welcome back to another episode of How to Build a Cruise Ship in Minecraft. So one thing that I would like to say before I get started, the reason I have not been able to upload this series lately is because I got a new computer and I did not have all the recording software I needed, but luckily now I do, and it is going to work out great from now on, and I'll try to get back on schedule with these things. So, today we are going to go right ahead and get started on the theater. So, most cruise ships do have a theater. If they are big like this one, they almost guaranteed to have one and it's also a really important part of the ship because your entertainment is mostly going to be in the theater and it's it's a lot bigger of an aspect than most people think it would be where you know you, you need to realize when you go on a cruise your entertainment part of it like i said is all shows and all comedy shows and usually are held in the theater with the exception of carnival who uses the comedy club but we're gonna go ahead and get started so I usually use the front of the ship. Now, you can put it anywhere you want. Usually, theaters are either two or three stories. In very rare occasions, they're one. And I like to put mine kind of in the front of the ship. Now, I don't put it all the way in the front because I don't like how this comes back and it will interfere with the top of the theater. So, I usually do it where the beginning of the lifeboats are right here. And then use this space for offices or crew offices. And it's raining on this world again. What do you know? Toggle down, fall. There we are. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and make the border right now. So, that's kind of how I always start it off so I know, you know how much space I'm going to have to work with. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to the middle of the ship right about there. And actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to fill in the floor all in one. So, go ahead. Like that. And I'm going to go ahead over here and do the same thing. Now, the reason I'm filling this in is because I'm going to be able to choose the colors I want the floor in just one world edit. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do that here in one minute. Oops, didn't mean to click the beacon. Alright. So, you can really be creative with this, but keep in mind, you want to keep it as one main theme, pretty much. You don't want to have, like, a whole bunch of different colors that don't make sense. You want to keep the colors kind of in sync with each other. So, I'm going to go ahead and go with darker colors because I think it's going to be a more elegant, uh theater if I do it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe fill it with some blue, heck, I'm a red, you know, maybe some orange in there, and finish it off with, I don't know, we'll just put some black and some gray in there just to make it look a little bit darker. So then I'm gonna go ahead and put in 100, which is my radius, and I spelled orange wrong, silly me, there we go. And there we go, so now I have my basic theater floor, which does actually look rather interesting, which should work for a theater. Theaters can look a little bit different with their floors. They can be a little bit crazy just because they are kind of a setting of expression compared to other parts of the cruise ship where it's just one main theme. But here you can kind of express yourself a little bit more if you so wish. So now we're going to start with the outline of the stage. I like to use slabs because you can be way more precise with these things, but you can kind of do it any way you want it. So I'm going to go ahead, put that up to three, and these are just going to be the uh, outline borders, and I'm going to kind of make it into like maybe a U shape kind of like this, or it kind of bends back like so, and you guys see how it makes like maybe a half semicircle or something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and use these guys and fill it in. I make it multi-texture just because I think it looks a little bit more realistic, because on a real stage you have the border out here. Uh, that's just me, but you can make it all one block if you so desire. It's just the way I like to do things. So I'm going to go ahead, fill this all up, and there we go, and there we are. Okay, so there's half of our stage, and remember, we only have to build half because we're using World Edit, but if you are not using World Edit, then you're going to have to build this entire thing, so that kind of sucks, but World Edit is a treat. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the outer lining on the walls. I know I'm kind of skipping around a little bit, but it, it's kind of the best way to do things. So I'm going to kind of use a combination of darker walls here. I'm going to use a base of spruce wood, which is going to look pretty nice. It's going to look more elegant, like I said, which is kind of what we're aiming for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I'm going to put these guys on top of it, which is going to be the paneling. So go ahead, go all the way down. And with logs, if you're going to use a log design like this, you want to be careful because if you put it down like this, you're going to get that. You want to make sure it's facing down. You click it down on top of the other block so that it looks like it's actually just one giant log sticking out of the ground. Or sticking out of the wall, I guess you should say. Let's do that. I missed a spot over here. Now, here's the thing with lighting. There is a lot of different things you can do with lighting. You can make it so that the theater actually has its own lighting switches and like a theater box up on top or something, but... I don't really like to do that anymore because it takes up way too much space and it's really inconvenient and very hard. So you can at your own risk, you could make a one, like a one block space in between the wall and the outer wall and put in some redstone equipment in there and make your own lighting where it switches on and off. But for tutorial purposes and complexity purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and put in some basic lighting. So I like to space them out by three just because I think it gives the best effect. 
I think it looks the best. You know, it doesn't look too cluttered with lights, but it looks like it's just about enough. And you guys see as it goes down the theater, it looks pretty elegant. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the outside right here, where the doorway is. And with theaters, you can be kind of creative. You can do double doors, um, literally like double doors like this, which usually is why I see in carnival ship theaters. Um, and what I'm going to actually be using on this ship, you can also just do maybe three doorways if you want. It, it can be up to you how you want this to look, but I usually just kind of go with this T-shape, and it works out pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and get myself a door. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and replace these whites, because I don't really like the way that looks. Alright, so then I'm just going to simply put these down. And the reason I'm putting them out on this way is because on the outside it's going to look more detailed where, this, where they're actually encaved in. I'm going to keep them open like this because typically that is how it is on a cruise ship, or at least on all the cruise ships I've been on, they leave the doors open because they're usually giant metal doors. Um, over here, I'm just going to go ahead and cover up the staircase just because I don't really feel like I need to have an opening right there. I don't feel like it's necessary. I just don't really see the need for it, to be honest. So it's going to kind of cover out a little bit like that. And from the inside, it'll just look like this, which looks perfectly normal. And now we're going to go ahead and move on. So, now we're going to build the kind of the backdrop of this stage, kind of like the main theme, if you will. So, this could be many different designs. Uh, you know, again, it's really in creativity in this. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some of the basic theme colors we've chosen, but I'm going to use clay instead. So, we're going to do something like that. And this one, you don't want to mix up the colors. You just want to make, like, a nice backdrop that looks decent. And keep in mind that these blocks are going to be covered with another wood paneling, so don't worry about putting blocks right here. So, I'm going to make, like, a nice red background like this. Go ahead and put it over like that ish okay i mean kind of make like an arch type theme a little bit like that you know you can get some slabs or something to put like a nice little overhang kind of thing if you will you know you can get on like a pattern design like that and it looks kind of cool if you want to put like a little design like that i guess you know you can really just be creative with this i actually don't like that but um, one thing you could do is add some theater lights, so I'm going to go ahead and add that right there. And then you can see on the outside, it kind of has some light shining in from the outside. And then we're going to go ahead and extend this back, because we need to make the backstage as well, because that's just as important as the front stage. Now, the backstage, I'm going to use some black stained clay, which is what I would hope that you guys would use as well, because backstage usually is just like a kind of a brownish, gray, or blackish uh, rubber material. So that's typically what's back there, but you know, you can be creative whatever you want. And of course we're going to add some curtains. You can choose several different types of curtains. I like to use red because it looks more official and it's kind of like, you know, what more what you're used to. And make sure when you put these in that they don't go where these, where the main, um, where the bridge type thing is. Uh, you want behind it always because it's going to look weird if you don't because this is where the curtains come down is, is behind the stage. Uh, and as you can see, I'm adding like kind of a ripple effect like this to where it looks like it's just like a rippling uh, curtain like it is in show times. So there you go. And go ahead and get some wall right here. And this is gonna be kind of like the hanger right here. So you can like put rows of these things. I usually put like three rows because it usually makes the most sense. And uh, over here you can add like a border that kind of supports it all. Um, and that light, if it does look kind of awkward, so you can like do this and double this up like that. And there you go. Now you have a nice looking stage. Um, now keep in mind though, back here you still want to add some room because there still is backstage. Uh, you know, because they, they do practice sometimes. So you want to keep that back there and then we're going to kick off from this um, in a minute. So, now we have the stage and it looks decent. I mean, it's not the best looking stage I've ever seen, but it is not the worst. And I'm going to go ahead and add a door right here for crew access because that is also important. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and work on the seating. So, we're going to go ahead and get some stairs. I'm going to use, actually, some spruce wood stairs. You can use any kind of stairs you want, but I typically want to go with the theme that you're going with. So if you're going for a brighter theme, uh, you might want to choose, like, a sandstone or jungle wood or some birch. It's going to look a lot lighter, but I'm going for more of an elegant theme. So I'm going to go with something like a darker wood, or I could have even gone with nether brick stairs if I wished. And they're going to kind of make it loop around the stage like this. I don't really worry about armchairs. Uh, you, I mean, there's really nothing you can do about that unless you really want to go into detail. But there's really no need for that kind of detail in a theater. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And make sure you end it like this, one right in front of the stage so you have a hallway in the middle. And even if you want to, to make it more spacious, you can actually do that. And make it so you have a row, of, or it'll be three down the middle, so it'll be pretty convenient for anyone trying to walk down to their seats or their aisles. 
Um, and here's one thing that you can do, like I just mentioned, is add these guys in between so it makes individual seats. Now, I, like I said, I don't like using that because I think it looks way, way too blocky and it's just not my thing, but I've seen several other people do it, so it is completely up to you whether you would like to do that or not. So then you just want to kind of go back the same way, all the way down. This is the most boring part of building a theater. And the thing you want to try to aim for is having like one space block in between each other because that's typically one of some of the best spacing you can get is where you can walk through it, you know, using one or two blocks to spare. So, you know what I mean, it's like in between uh, each row. So that's kind of like what I like to aim for, but uh, you know, it's your ship, you can do whatever you would like with it. And as you're going to notice, that they do the rows do kind of get more, uh, I guess you could say like, like kind of line-ish, which they will. Typically the only first couple rows are going to be round like that unless you have a really big ship. But then after that you can just start making straight rows like this, which is perfectly fine. If you notice, if you, I know a lot of church designs do this, so don't worry about it. I know it's... Typically when you see theaters, they do tend to go way around the stage, but the thing is that you're on a cruise ship, and cruise ships are significantly smaller than an opera house, um, like the Windspear, or the Sydney Opera House, or something like that. They're significantly smaller, so you can't really make the seats go all the way around unless it's a massively huge ship. So, I'm going to leave that there in a minute. Now you have all the seats, and it looks pretty good. Um, you know, make sure you can see all your audience in the, from the stage, which you can. And also you want to go back here, make sure you can see the stage from here, which you can, so there you go, you're good. Now the thing is, you're going to want to add some support beams. Yep, that's right, we are not done with support beams. We will not be done for support beams for a while. So, I'm going to space up pretty well here. I'm going to put one every four spaces, because in big rooms like this, you want as much, um, you want as much support as you can possibly get. Now, so we're going to skip that one, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. But yeah, we're gonna do that because that's gonna support the next floor. And you need these because, like I said, in big rooms they tend to concave into each other. If there's a design flaw, you need as much support as you possibly can. Even if you need to cut into some of these chairs to make it look right, excuse me, that is perfectly fine. But I'm not gonna do it because I think that should be good enough for a small ship like this. But just keep in mind, if you have a big ship, please be sure to add support beams, just because it's going to be uh, the most realistic thing you can do for your ship. So I'm going to go ahead and add a beacon right here as well, because you do want some decent lighting in here. Uh, but the thing you want to focus on is lighting on the stage. Now, the stage, you can have the lights in the floor. The stage is the only exception because they do have special effects on uh, theaters. So you can kind of be creative with that, or you can be kind of lazy and just put it in there. Uh, that is actually fine in a cruise ship theater, but a cruise ship theater is about the only place where you're going to be allowed to do that. So I just put mine right there so you can kind of see the actors, you know, they're performing up here and everything. Uh, and even if you want, you can even black those out so it's just the theater. I've actually done that on ships before, but the problem is you're going to get bats to spawn and creepers and all that, which you typically don't want when your people or when the people download your ship. But it is completely up to you on what you want to do. But uh, there we go, we just have these guys in there. And if you wanted to add windows, you can. Um, like maybe like something like this. But here's the thing with windows is that typically when you're doing a show, they will always close them, so they're usually not visible. Now, granted, this is Minecraft, so I'm going to go ahead and add the detail of windows, but you are not really needed to do it because no one's really going to notice, to be honest. But we're going to go ahead and put these in here anyways, just so that we can have the extra detail going into the ship. And I'm going to go ahead and add some window sills, which are, again, the elegance kind of color, which is red. So it makes it look a little bit more detailed than it already is. And then there we go. So now we have a nice looking bottom floor for the theater. Now we're going to work on the top floor, which is pretty close to the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and add that block right there. And I'm actually going to go over here. So since I want to only make half of this, now again, if you're not using World Edit, do not worry about this part, just build your entire theater. But if you are using World Edit, here's how you fill the second floor. So you want to go to the edge of the stage. We have already agreed that this is the middle of the stage, so you want to make one over like this so you can kind of create a barrier. Um, so you make an enclosed space where you can fill in your floor. And again, if you're not using World Edit, you do not need to worry about this. This is none of your concern, but for those of you using World Edit, this is very important, so pay attention. So, now that you have this, this is where your floor is going to be. But you want to make sure that the second floor can see the theater. So, I'm going to go ahead and kind of make where my second floor is going to be located. And it's going to kind of curve around like this. And actually, everyone can pick, take part in this. You guys see how it's going to curve around like most theaters do. And that's kind of that's kind of the way a theater works, to be honest. So, um, yeah, there's really not much more to be said. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the balcony now. So, I'm going to go ahead and use some darker stairs just so it matches the rest of the theme of the ship. 
but again, you can use whatever you would like, whatever matches your theme, but this will be the overhang type thing going over the stage. You can make this even go all the way around the stage if you want to, if your ship's big enough. It's just the ship is a smaller type vessel, so it does not need a massively huge theater. I'm going to go ahead and get some glass, and I'm going to put it on top of here so we have a non-suicidal uh, balcony over here. I'm going to go ahead and get some brown carpet so it kind of looks like maybe wood that's over this stuff. Actually, I'm just going to do this. So it looks more rounded off. And there we go. You can see we have that right there. I'm actually going to... Yeah, okay. So, now that you have that, you can go ahead and delete this wool because that balcony is basically the same as I think the wool is doing. And now we can go ahead and fill in our floor. So, typically you want this to be the same thing that you used for the other floor. And I already have mine in there, so I just press up arrow. Boom, there we go. It is the same floor pattern as the other floor. Now you can go ahead, delete this white line. It is no longer needed. You just need it to make sure that you can fill in that area. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we're going to do the same thing we did on the bottom floor. You know, fill this in. You know, make our wall all the way back up. And it's pretty much the same thing as the first floor. Um, so go ahead and make that. And up here, you can kind of see we've run out of room a little bit, so here it is perfectly fine. I'm just going to go ahead and make a normal door. Uh, you know, not just a, not the double, double doors. This will work just fine. I'm going to actually close that off like this, because I think it looks nicer. It looks more consistent. Oops, that's wrong. Do that. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead, change these, and get myself a door. Put them right here, and close it. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead. Go all the way back down, fill in my wall, Do we hit here. Now here's the thing is that you are going to have something like this where you don't know what to do. Should you continue the panel pattern all the way down here or should you just leave it white? It is up to you. Uh, me personally, I can't stand it uh, when it's white, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this in with some wood. It's going to like a wood post kind of supporting everything else on top of it. But it is completely up to you what you would like to do with this. Um, just personally, I can't stand it when there's white uh, inside of a ship. But it's all really just personal preference, because remember, uh, this ship is the way you want it to be. The only reason I'm building this tutorial ship is to just so you, give you guys a basic idea on how to make your ship, or if you have problems with parts of your ship, not just so you can directly copy this one, but so that you know how to work on yours and get ideas for your own ship. Well, that's the point of the series. Uh, actually, that's that's a good... Uh, Actually, I need to say something about that as well. I had a comment uh, from a guy that said that he didn't like this series because I didn't place it block by block, uh, and I wasn't counting how many blocks I was placing down. Um, I don't know if you guys know the point of this series, but I'm actually making it so you guys can get ideas off it, not just directly copy it. Um, my original idea for it was that you guys could get ideas from the ship and try to make your own based off this one, not just directly copy this one because that's just copying, and I don't really see the point of... Of doing that, we can just get this thing on Planet Minecraft. So um, I'm just doing. I want you guys to make sure. Or I want to make sure you guys knew that I'm doing this series so that you guys can make your own and be creative, not just so you can copy it. Um, but I mean, it's okay if you're copying it too. It's just that's not the reason I made the series. So that's why I'm not counting exact block numbers. That's you know, just I'm, I'm doing this so that you guys can make your own and be creative with it and hopefully learn. So uh, I already see the dislikes on the, on the on the video right now, but that is perfectly fine. Alright, so, after that short little rant right there, let's go ahead and do the same thing. So, as you can see, I'm making the seats go around again, and I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. Now, I'm actually going to... never mind. Never mind what I was about to say. I changed my mind. Alright, come on. There we go. And just make it loop around. And again, you can keep this dark if you want to. Um, I mean, I know theaters are dark, so it's completely up to you whether you want to keep this dark or not. It's really really optional because, you know, it makes sense with the theater. Now, here's the thing is that you are going to notice that you really are not going to be able to see anything from these seats back here. At this point, this is just for pure decoration. These seats really are never designed to be used. It's just, you know, they're just there just to look good. Because, uh, I mean, let's be honest, with Minecraft limitations, you can't just make it like a normal theater. Uh, you know, we just have to accept that because it's true. So, those seats back there are essentially just decoration. You can't really use those in a... In a show. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not saying that you actually have shows in Minecraft, I'm just saying for realism terms, do not worry if you can't see the stage right here, because you just really can't, period, because it's, it, it's just Minecraft, so I don't think that you did something wrong, that's perfectly normal. Okay, so the reason I split left space back here is because you could put a bar back here. It is not uh, uncommon for a bar to be back here, so I'm going to go ahead and make a quick bar, 
Uh, and the reason being is because people like to grab themselves like a snack or something or a drink while they're watching their shows. Um, I don't know personally know any cruise ships that do this, but I know that there is ones out there that do this. So it's pretty simple. You just make yourself like a little stand right here. And then you just kind of make it so that vendors can get in and out. So I'll get like a trap door like this. And then just put it in right there. And then you can get in and out. And they just sell little things here and there like booze or stuff. And, you know, it's just pretty much just the convenience of being able to buy your own drink while you're watching your show, so you don't have to go all the way to, uh, the promenade deck to go get your, uh, booze. Okay, so there you go. I do believe that that is mostly it for the main hall. Now we're gonna go backstage, because we do need to do things back here. So, back here is the crew part of it. There is always, always gonna be a crew part of everything. So, you know, uh, don't just think that that's the end. It's not. So I'm gonna make this white wall, and this is gonna kind of separate this from da -da -da, the dressing rooms. Excuse me. <clears throat> the dressing rooms are essential because, I mean, the actors aren't just gonna dress on stage. As much as you wish those hot girls would, they're not going to. I promise you. So they have to have dressing rooms, unfortunately. Yep, I can see the hate comments. But... Let's go ahead and do that. So I made a big white wall. This is the backstage area. This is all backstage where they practice the stuff and curtains rise and they do the show. Everything's happy. All right, so this is going to be our doorway. And I'm going to go ahead and make some stairs because this is not level with the normal deck. So there we go. And then we're going to make the normal deck right here. Let's go ahead and get some quartz. I'm going to begin making the floor. So it doesn't have to be massive, you know, especially for a small stage like this. So I'm going to only probably use about this much space. But it does have to it does have to be there pretty much is what I'm trying to say. So go ahead and fill it in with some quartz. And then you know you're welcome to have some windows like this one right here. That's perfectly fine. Windows, uh, you know, give some light in. Yeah, they can definitely make sure that they have some light. And some nice natural light at that. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make the dress rooms kinda line up here. Now again, these corridors can be pretty small because it is crew member. Uh, passageways and it's not uncommon for them to be small you know I, I've actually seen some crew passageways and I'm actually surprised the conditions these guys live in so you know I, I am pretty surprised but, but yeah so I'm actually gonna make it I'm gonna make this actually pretty long this this will just be like the main uh, dressing rooms because I like how big that window is I think it's gonna look really good for what I want to do so I'm just gonna go ahead and extend this out like this there we go. Just give it a minute, and okay, there we go. And over here will be the main dressing rooms, which will be like a two block long or two block wide hallway. And we're not gonna be doing a second story on this. Uh, the second story on this will be just be offices for the main cruise ship. So uh, we're just gonna be working on the dressing rooms right now. And go ahead, get my X. And do that, do that, so, so, seven, five, and there we go, we have some walls. Okay, so like I said, these are going to be the main dressing rooms where they actually dress and stuff. You know, the stuff that you wish you could see. But, unfortunately, because of uh, certain laws, you can't do that. Alright, so I actually made one law, one thing too thick, there we go. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add a beacon right there so that both rooms have light. I'm going to add another beacon right there. So now we have light in there, and I'm going to add some light in here, and right there. And we're going to go ahead and line this hallway up, kind of, with some light. It's going to drive me crazy if these things aren't even close enough. Alright, there we go. So now all the rooms should have plenty of light. I'm going to go ahead and make my door right there, door right there, get a door, it's probably important. Go ahead and put the door in there, door. And also, door. Now, don't worry if it's too plain, because crew member areas kind of are plain sometimes, especially ones that aren't really in the engine rooms or anything. So you can't add like walls like this with just support beams. You know, be creative with it as much as you'd like to do. But I think this should be plenty for this type of ship. And now in here, um, what I usually just do is I just kind of add benches on either side. You know, if you maybe I'll add like a a rack like this. You know, so they can store their stuff in. And it's, it's just a pretty simple dressing room. I mean, it's really really nothing uh, special with it so i mean it's basically really simple it, you know you just add your benches and add the clothing racks where they hang their clothes or their costumes whatever they want to do uh, i mean it's it's pretty simple like that uh if you could add mirrors i would add mirrors but unfortunately minecraft can't really do that all right so in here is going to be the uh makeup room 
So you can line these chairs up, and if you ever seen one of these makeup rooms, then you probably know exactly what I'm about to do. If you haven't, then you probably haven't seen a lot of movies. So, um, you want on the right side, you're gonna go ahead and get like a carpet or something, and just kind of put it over like that. And yeah, I mean, it's really, really simple. You put a chair in front of there, and then that's kind of where they get ready. And there usually would be a mirror on this wall, but unfortunately Minecraft doesn't have mirrors in it yet. And you can't really do that as of now. But, maybe someday. I'm gonna go ahead and add these back in here. And yeah, see, they're just basically the makeup rooms, which they just put their makeup on before the show. And, yeah, don't ask me how I know that. I, ju I just do. And there's really nothing more that you can put in there. So, now I'm trying to think what else, because I always, always forget something. Make sure the door's right there. This doesn't really need a door. You know, people can just walk on and off here. That's perfectly fine. Oh yeah, make sure your backstage has plenty of lighting. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more lights up here, just to make sure that they have enough lighting for the backstage area while they're practicing their performances. And I do believe that should be about good. Okay, so now is the time to flip the ship once again. So I'm gonna go to the very corner, which is about right there. Go all the way, actually no, that's not even the very corner. This would be the very corner, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna choose, let's see, this corner right there. And go all the way over here and choose the farthest corner on the top, which is roughly right here. Um, actually, no, it's not. It's more or less, like, right there. Alright. Now I'm gonna go to our edge, the edge that we all put the axe on over here. And I'm gonna kind of move it over just a little bit to make my life easier. Oops. There we go. Line up with this line. There. Alright, copy. Flip in that direction. Go ahead and go forward. Line it up with the center, which is right about here. Slash slash paste. One too many A's. And there we go. Looks like it did copy over fine, but we'll double check. Everything looks good. So then there we go. Now we have a theater. And it does look pretty good in my opinion. I mean, it's a nice small theater. Which, uh, you know, it should be pretty beneficial to the ship. And not only that, but it does look good. So now you are ready to give performances on board your cruise ship in Minecraft. And everything looks like it worked out pretty well. And then you can go back and label the signs as you wish. You know, makeup rooms and everything. It is all up to you what you would like to do with this thing. So thank you guys very much for watching and the support of the series and channel, and as always, have an awesome day.